because God knows Praise the Lord. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Praise God. I'd like to share some scripture with you and testify to the grace of God. Turn to your Bibles to Psalm 18, starting at verse 1. I will love thee, O Lord, my strength. The Lord is my rock, and my fortress, my deliverer, my God, my strength, and him in whom I will trust, my buckler and the horn of my salvation, and my high tower. I will call upon the Lord who is worthy to be praised. So shall I be saved from my enemies. Praise the Lord. So I want to share some things with you today. I got saved during the Brownsville Revival in 1995. The Lord changed my life, delivered me out of depression. I was bound up with pornography and lust and masturbation. The Lord did a work in my life and changed me from the inside out. When I was a child, I was molested. And in high school and middle school, mostly in middle school, at one time I was into homosexuality briefly in my life. I was also into the occult. I read books on witchcraft and I I learned about Satanism from one of my peers in middle school. He tricked me into renouncing the Lord and I had me do some really bad things. Um, I'm not proud of it, but I just praise Jesus that he's delivered me and that greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world that Jesus Christ is my Lord and Savior. He changed my life. He put, put me on the rock and I'm, I'm believing God for a future wife. The Lord's been merciful to me. Throughout my Christian walk I've had, had problems with masturbation. But God's been faithful to me and his word says, Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Well, I go after God and I get free. And unfortunately, it's been a habit. But now I am I claim freedom in Jesus' name. And since high school and middle school, I've also had girlfriends. And, you know, I fornicated before. But, um... Jesus is my Lord and Savior, and I'm serving Him and going after the Lord. I go to a small church called Warrington Worship Center. The Lord's been merciful to me. Um, I, I graduated from the Brownsville Revival School of Ministry, and also graduated from Pensacola State College. But I just want to share with you that the Lord can set you free. Whatever bondage you're in, whatever sin, whatever habit, God can change your life, give you a brand new mind, and heal your broken body. Heal your spirit. The Lord can set you free. Just call upon the name of the Lord, and He will set you free. For the Lord's merciful. And the Bible says, Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. If, you, if you're merciful, you'll, you will obtain mercy. But if you're not, you won't get that blessing. Just like, Blessed are those who hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. You get a blessing because you're hungry for God. And you want God to do something in your life. The Lord is... 
the Lord will meet you if you pray and if you seek his face. For the Bible says, Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. God will meet your needs if you trust in him. Because my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. The Lord, Lord wants me to tell you to repent and give your heart to Jesus today. There is not, now is the accepted time. Today is the day of salvation. He w will forgive you. For his word says, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Sin is anything Jesus would not do. Sin separates you from a holy God. God wants a relationship with you. He wants you to be his very best friend. Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. He wants you to come into his kingdom. He wants you to live with him for eternity in heaven. There is a place called hell, and God does not want you there. It was created for the devil and his angels. But God's word shares the truth about Jesus because it says, For God so loved the world that whosoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that through him it might be saved. So give your heart to Jesus Christ today. He will change you. He will cleanse you. He will make you brand new. Repent means, if you're going one way, to turn your life and go the other way. 180 degrees. You know, when the Bible says repent in different places, and when you repent, it means you turn away from sin and turn to God. And if you in your heart genuinely repent, God will forgive you. God will change your life. God will restore what the devil has stolen. For the Bible says a thief comes but to kill and to steal and to destroy. But Jesus came that you might have life and life more abundantly. Jesus Christ will forgive you if you confess your sins. But if you do not confess them, he can't forgive you. Because if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and cleanse us from unrighte all unrighteousness. The Lord is good and he's not slack concerning his promises. God will answer your prayers if you get right with him, if you humble yourself. Humble yourself unto the mighty hand of God and he will exalt you in due time. For God resists the proud but gives grace to the humble. And God looks upon those who are broken and contrite and tremble at his word. The Lord's looking for brokenness and humility in his people. He is calling you to be separate. Come out from among them and be separate, saith the Lord, and I will receive you. God wants you to be holy, for he is holy. Holiness is, means a separation. You've got to be separate from the world. You've got to come out from the ways of the world. If they drink and smoke, you stay away from them. If they cuss and curse God's name, stay away from them. If they use drugs or in the ways of the world and party, stay away from them. Come out from among them and God will receive you. There needs to be a separation in your situation. God is calling you to come out from among them and be separate. For God will change you. He'll change your heart and your mind. Daily meditate on the word of God. Put the word in your heart. 
and you will not sin against the Lord. And this, and God's saying to you, turn from the things of the world, push them away, and grab hold of Jesus. Get the word of God in your heart, and you will not sin against the Lord, for the Lord will deliver you, and he is faithful and just to cleanse you from all unrighteousness once you confess your sin. The, quit, the easiest, the shortest prayer in the Bible for salvation was Peter when he was walking on the water and Jesus told him to come onto the water. Peter said, Lord, save me. And he was stumbling because of the storms. He was looking to the storms. He got his eyes off of Jesus and he started to fall into the sea, the Sea of Galilee. And he said, Lord, save me. And the Lord got him. That's the shortest salvation scripture in the Bible. Lord, save me. Friend, you can pray that and God will save you. God will redeem you. God will change your life. God will put strength in your mind and your heart. God will heal your body, give you a brand new start. Just confess the Lord today. For the Bible says in Romans 10, 9 and 10, that if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. And the Bible also states, For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Friend, give your heart to Jesus today. That's what I testify to you, that the Lord can set you free from alcoholism. He can set you free from addictions, from smoking, from drug addiction, from pornography, from depression, from suicide. Jesus Christ can set you free. Surrender your life today to Him and pray a sinner's a similar prayer to this and God will heal your, hear your prayers. Pray this prayer with me right now if you want to give Jesus your mind and your heart and your life. Jesus Christ will change your life. Turn to him today. Pray a similar prayer. prayer. Pray with me right now This a similar prayer to this in your heart. And God will change your life. Lord Jesus, I confess that I'm a sinner and I need forgiveness. Save me, wash me, purify me, be my Lord and Savior and best friend. Jesus, come into my heart. Forgive me for hurting you. Forgive me for hurting myself. Forgive me for hurting others. Jesus, I make you my Lord and my Savior and my best friend. Come live your life through me. Change me. Change my life. Deliver me from my sin. Jesus, I love you. I need you. I surrender today to your will and to your way for my life. In Jesus' name, amen.